As an online business, you have the benefit of selling across borders. But with that comes a lot of complexity, especially when it comes to managing sales tax, GST, and VAT. You have to pay attention to what you're selling, how much you're selling, and where you're selling, all while managing your business. There's no one-size-fits-all solution for taxes. And that's why we launched Stripe Tax. At Stripe, we want to enable businesses everywhere to get up and running. With Stripe Tax, we can help you do that compliantly with no extra time or effort on your part. Welcome back to Stripe Developer Office Hours. I'm Matthew, Developer Advocate at Stripe. And I'm joined today by Kelly, a Product Manager for Stripe Tax. We're so excited to tell you more about the product and show you just how easily you can add Stripe Tax to your existing Stripe integrations. Hey, Kelly, thanks again for joining us today. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about Tax and how developers can use this new product? Hi, Matt. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, so to jump right in and give you a little bit of Stripe Tax history, we set out to solve tax compliance in about late 2019 with the mission of abstracting away tax compliance complexity for users the same way that we had done that for payments in the past with tokens and V1 charges. And well, that's exactly what we did. So today, Stripe Tax solves three critical pain points for users across the world. One, knowing where to register for tax. Two, calculating and collecting the right amount of tax per transaction. And three, filing and remitting the tax collected. And so to break that down, we can talk about how Stripe Tax solves each of those three pain points. So to start, when to register to collect tax. So each state and each country have different requirements and when you actually need to start charging sales tax or VAT. As a Stripe user, we actually analyze your past Stripe transactions and compare them to those local thresholds to give you an idea of when and where you may need to register to collect tax if you haven't yet already. We also provide some handy links such that it would make it easy for you to register with the relevant authority if you do have an obligation that maybe you didn't know about. So step one, done. Now that we've registered, how do we collect uh, the right amount of tax per transaction? Well. Stripe tax, this is our bread and butter. This is exactly what we do. So we have over 100 different tax codes, uh, and they all have different tax rules, rates, tax abilities that change frequently. Uh, and that's our job is to ensure that we can keep those rules and rates up to date. This way, you never need to know that, for example, Germany changed their VAT rates twice last year because of COVID. You don't have to worry about that. We will automatically handle that. And what's more, we'll also display the right amount of tax to your buyer before they would complete the checkout, giving them confidence that we do know where they are, we're gonna charge the right amount of tax. And so now that we've calculated and collected the right amount of tax, what do we do with the money? Well, you've got to file and remit that. And so Stripe Tax comes out of the box with all of the reporting that you probably ever want and more, such that you can file and remit your taxes with ease or have your accountant or one of our preferred filing partners automate the filing for you. That's amazing. Yeah, incredible work on solving so many pain points for our users. Um, and specifically for developers out there, why would a developer care about Stripe Tax? So this is a good question. And, and it was never just about solving the pain points exactly. Like right there, there are existing providers that offer tax functionality, but it was about how we solve them. And as a payment processor, we're actually uniquely positioned to abstract away far more complexity about tax than any standalone third party is. Well, we already have some key information about the transaction itself, especially around the customer, their location. And so given that, we decided to natively integrate Stripe Tax into Stripe's existing payment integrations, namely checkout, billing, and invoicing, and only require developers and users to pass one additional line of code, automatic if tax enabled equals true, and we will do the rest. That means you get payments and tax with as little as one single API call. With a traditional third party, you're looking at probably on average about 10 or maybe more, just to be able to get the information about where the customer is based, get a tax estimation for what's in their cart. And then if any of that information changes, you're gonna to have to make another request to that provider. With Stripe Tax, we do it all for you in the same set of APIs. And to be honest, I could really talk about Stripe Tax and why we built it, and especially why we built it for developers and why they should care for pretty much hours. But since we don't have that, uh, why don't we jump into the integration and see how it all works? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's get started. 
Let's look at a quick overview of what we're going to cover in the demo. In order to get started with Stripe Tax, we only need to complete three easy steps. Firstly, we'll provide an origin address to declare where our business is located or where the goods we sell ship from. Secondly, we'll set our default tax code, where there's quite a few to choose from, from digital goods to physical goods and services. And then thirdly, we'll add where we're registered to collect tax. And then once we're set up, we'll use checkout to sell our goods and collect the appropriate taxes. So one important thing to note is that you will not be charged for using Stripe Tax until you've completed adding the origin, tax code, registrations, and you enable automatic tax on your transactions. For example, by setting automatic tax enabled to true when creating your checkout sessions, which we'll see in a moment. So this means that you can complete all of this setup ahead of time without being charged, and you'll only be charged once you start processing transactions, including tax. So let's jump in and complete those three steps. We'll start out by adding Stripe Tax in the product settings, and we'll take a look at the specific settings there. Stripe Tax analyzes how much transaction volume you've processed, surfacing potential states and countries where you may need to register and collect taxes. For example, if we look more closely at the potential registration section, we can see that my business has already exceeded the thresholds for tax obligations in some European countries and also certain states in the US, like Washington. But before we handle any registrations, let's add an origin address. My game's business is based in Ireland, so let's add my Irish address. We'll skip the prompt to add registrations now and tackle that later in the registration section. Our origin address is set up. Next, we'll add the default product tax code. My business sells downloadable games, so I'm gonna choose that as my default. If you're unsure as to which tax code you should be using, you can consult with a tax advisor to determine exactly the kinds of products and services you're selling. Next is to add where I'm registered to collect tax. I'm gonna add three registrations in total, one for Ireland, one for the UK, and one for Washington in the US. I can add a registration either by clicking on the add registration button here, but I can also add a registration based on one of the potential registrations, and I'll do a few of each. I'm registered for VAT OSS in Ireland, so I'll choose that. And I want to start collecting tax immediately. Again, if you're unsure as to which kind of registration you should choose, you can ask a tax advisor for the applicable registration for your business. Let's review the potential registration in the UK and add that I'm registered for tax there. And I also want to start collecting tax immediately. And finally, I'll start collecting taxes in Washington in the US. Now I have my three registrations set up, my default tax code is set, and I've set my business origin. Remember, I still won't be charged for using Stripe Tax until I finally enable it. For example, when creating charges via checkout, invoicing, or billing. So let's go ahead and do that. Firstly, let's create a product in the dashboard for a new game. And here we don't need to set the product tax code as the default code we set up earlier will be used. Then we'll set a one-time price for the game and specify that the tax is inclusive, meaning the customer will pay 10 euros in total when purchasing. If I toggle between inclusive and exclusive tax, we can see that change in the price preview pane. So let's create that product and we'll copy the price ID to the clipboard for later. Now that we have a product to sell, let's create a checkout session and instruct Stripe to automatically calculate and collect tax for the sale. I've started a tiny demo here and I've set up a little scaffolding. We're only dealing with two files in this demo. We have an index file where we'll render a form and a button. And the action of the form is to post to the create checkout session route in server.js, where we'll create the checkout session. So let's add a little JavaScript to do that. We'll grab a reference to the button. And then when the button is clicked, we'll change the text of the button and submit the form. This button state function is just a simple function I've created in the index.js file for convenience. Next, let's grab a reference to the form and we'll submit that. Now let's jump into the back end and create the checkout session and redirect to checkout. Here we'll create a checkout session in payment mode, taking cards as the payment method type and specify the price for the game that we created earlier with a quantity of one. And now for the main tax setting, we'll use automatic tax enabled true. We'll redirect back to localhost for both the success and cancel URLs, which are required params for the checkout session. And finally, we'll redirect to the URL for the checkout session. Great, so let's test things out. We can see that checkout has automatically calculated the tax first to the amount of one euro 87. If I change the billing state to Washington in the US, we can see that the tax is recalculated in real time to the appropriate amount. 
And the same for the UK if I change the address to there. And finally, since I'm registered for VAT OSS in Ireland, I can also collect tax in other EU countries like the Netherlands. In this case though, I'm in Ireland, so I'll provide an Irish address. In order to determine the customer's location, Stripe Tax can leverage the provided billing address, shipping address, and IP address. And you can read more about that in the docs. Now that the checkout is complete, let's jump into the dashboard to check out the charge overview. Here we can see the details for tax. The location was Ireland, the billing address was used to determine the country of taxation, and the amount was €1.87. One final feature to show is that now that your transactions include tax, you can download both a detailed itemized report of your tax transaction data and a summarized report to help with your reconciliation and remittance. And we're done. Now you are all set to have tax automatically calculated and collected for you using checkout in only a few quick and easy steps. The setup steps are the very same for using Stripe Tax with invoicing and billing, so subscribe and stay tuned for tutorials on using Stripe Tax with those products. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at support.stripe.com or drop into our developer chat, uh, which will be linked in the description. You can also follow us on Stripe Dev on Twitter and subscribe to our newsletter, also linked in the description, to keep up to date with new Stripe Tax features. Thanks for joining us, Kelly. Before you leave, how can users get started with Stripe Tax? Good question. So any user located in any of our supported markets can get started with Stripe Tax right now. All you have to do is activate right in your dashboard. And so those supported markets are the US, EU27, the UK, Australia, New Zealand, Switzerland, and Canada. And we're hoping to add many, many more markets in 2022 as well. We're currently integrated with checkout, invoicing, billing, and payment links. And we are working to support all Stripe integra integration paths in the coming months as well. Excellent. Yeah. So thanks everybody for joining us. Um, please do subscribe to the Stripe Developers channel to keep up to date with more Stripe tax videos for billing and invoicing that we'll be publishing. Uh, you can also head over to stripe.com slash tax to learn more or email us at stripe-tax at stripe.com with your specific use case. We can't wait for you to try Stripe tax. And until next time, see you.